Well, good evening, Sheree. The explosion took place in this alleyway, not too far from the uptown Oxford area. You could see how powerful it was. It actually put holes in the siding of this house. Well, one other thing I want to point out, if you take a look, McCullough Hyde Hospital is right over there about a block away. Well, nurses inside the emergency room heard the blast, ran over, and immediately started helping the children. It was a blast that was heard from blocks away. I came back and my roommates were like, there was this really loud explosion and it sounded like it was right in front of our apartment. It was definitely loud. I couldn't tell you what it was from the sound, but um, definitely serious. And powerful. It left holes in the side of this home and injured two 12-year-old boys. Yeah, we have a child being badly injured. He's very hurt. He's crying. There's blood all over him. It was quite a blast. Enough of a blast that the nurses from within the ER uh, came over, came out. And rendered aid to 12-year-old Kayla Bogan, who was then flown to Children's Hospital. His family says his left hand had to be amputated. His buddy was also hurt, but suffered less severe injuries. They were uh, tampering with a pyrotechnic. And that's all we know at this point in time. We don't know what type. Investigators are calling the device that blew up a modified pyrotechnic. They say the boys had been seen riding bikes in the area prior to the explosion and still aren't sure if they stumbled upon the explosive device or brought it there themselves. Police say they're taking this incident seriously, used the drone today to help get a better layout of the area. And we actually used the traffic reconstruction team's thermal imager in order to get a 2D and 3D layout of the evidence, which has now been sent to a lab for testing. And I know Mike Grimes with the Butler County Bomb Squad is assisting Oxford police in this. I know uh, part of Caleb's clothing was sent to a lab for testing. I uh, was some residue on his shirt. And once they get the results back, they hope to have a better idea about what this device was made of. Reporting live in Oxford tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen.